Hey and welcome to this WordPress tutorial in which I'll be showing you how to create this unfold effect with the help of a JetTrix plugin. Don't forget to check the link in the description down below to learn more about JetTrix plugin. And now I will show you how to create this effect from scratch, so by the end of this video you'll be able to create it yourself. Ok, here I am on a blank template and I've got an empty section here and all I need to create this effect is to add a special widget that I can find if I scroll all the way down in my elements section and then I find jet elements which are the part of the jet tricks plugin. I need the unfold widget. I'm just gonna grab it and drag it on the new section. And here I see some sample text. It's gonna work for us since we just want to see how to style it and how to tweak different settings. And the first thing you see under the content tab is the settings for the fold position and the unfold position. You have two positions, the one when you see the entire contents of your section and the other one when the part of the content is hidden. So you can tweak the height. So you just want to say how much content is going to be visible when the other part is hidden. I guess that's going to work. And the next one is the animation that you can change just the way you like. You see here some types of animation. So just play around with it and choose the one that you like. So with this one it kind of bounces back. You can also tweak the duration of the animation. So if you move it up this section is going to open way slower and if you move it all the way back it's going to do it faster. And the same with the other way. So the next one is content where you can add your content that you want to see in the section. So text, images, etc. And the button. You can add some text, you can change the icon, you have a whole bunch of them right here and you also set different text and different icons for different states of the column. You see the text and the icon change when you click on the button and the column changes its state. Okay, now the next one is style, which is really interesting because you can change it, you can change the look of this section totally. Let's start with the background type. Classic gradient as always. Uh, let's choose the color like that. The border type, box shadow, padding margin. I actually want the text to be a little bit farther from the edges. So I'm just gonna increase it like that. And I want the section to be not that wide. I want to just kind of cut it on the left, on the right edges. So let it be just something like that. Oh, that's way too much. Um, that's gonna work. The border radius well, maybe a little bit, five or something. Okay, cool. Uh, this is the background for the fold state. But when you unfold it, you can change it to a different background, actually. Uh, so let it be classic, but here we can also add an image. Like this one. That's not that bad, actually. And you can change the size and some other settings that you usually have for background images and even change the attachment. Okay, let it be fixed. That's a little more interesting, okay. That's pretty much it for the background of the section of the container as it is called. 
uh, you can also set gradient but I'm sure that you're familiar with it so I'll not be showing it in detail and the, the separator let me just briefly show you what it is let's go with gradient uh, the separator only works when this section is in the fold state so you have two colors here the um, okay I'll set two different colors so you can see how it works it kind of allows you to add a little bit of fade just right here so a little bit of content is being kind of behind some fog or something all right let me show you okay that's it and for the other color I'll set it to transparent and as you see it allows us to add a little bit of fog and the content is being kind of covered by this gradient looks interesting if you're interested you can play around with it and create just the type of effect that you want to have change the angle of the gradient the location just all the usual things that you can do with gradients the content uh, meaning you can change the um, color of the text tweak the typography and all the other usual typography settings for both fold and unfold state and the button the alignment this behavior on normal and on hover okay let's change the background to white and the text color to that's gonna work heading margin border type box shadow all the usual settings and on the hover let it be like that and the text color as white and under the advanced tab you have all the advanced settings that you usually have for other columns all right i guess we can update it and have a look at our design on the front end so here it goes so now you know how to create this fold column effect with the help of jet tricks plugin i hope you like the video if you did, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe.